The Duke of Sussex, 36, made waves last month with his announcement that he would publish an intimate and heartfelt memoir. The book is slated for tentative release in late 2022, the same year Harry's grandmother the Queen celebrates her Platinum Jubilee. Penguin Random House UK is to publish Harry's autobiography, all proceeds from which he has said will be donated to charity. Very few details about the book have so far been released by Harry, but the Duke has said it will cover his military service in Afghanistan. Harry will also speak about his marriage to Meghan Markle, 40, with whom he exited the royal family last year. The couple now live in Montecito, California, where they are raising their two young children, Archie Harrison, 2 and Lilibet Diana, three months. Since settling in the US, the pair have pursued a string of media ventures, including deals with the likes of Netflix and Spotify. After recent calls for the couple to release more content via the platforms, author and publisher Andrew Lowney believes Harry may respond to royal fans sooner than expected. The writer was discussing his own new book, Traitor King, The Scandalous Exile of the Duke and Duchess of Windsor. He told Express.co.uk how Harry would release his memoir in time for the Christmas market. He said, I'm sure there's something being lined up, they can't have the foot on the pedal the whole time. He's got his book about to come out. These things are being developed, so I suspect they are not sitting on their laurels. My own feeling is that the book will come out sooner than the Platinum Jubilee. That's just a feint to put people off the trail and the book will be out by Christmas. It's already written so why would you wait? They'll go for the Christmas market. It's written it's ready to go. I would have thought that they want to strike now as quickly as they can. What's the advantage of waiting? The publishers will want to get their money back too. Why would they wait another year when they've put down so much money? They want to get a return. A book will come out this year. Harry has remained tight-lipped about his memoir but did release a short statement on his and Meghan's Archwell publishing site. It read, I'm writing this not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become. I've worn many hats over the years, both literally and figuratively. My hope is that in telling my story, the highs and lows, the mistakes, the lessons learned, I can help show that no matter where we come from, we have more in common than we think. I'm deeply grateful for the opportunity to share what I've learned over the course of my life so far and excited for people to read a first-hand account of my life that's accurate and wholly truthful. Harry and Meghan opened up about going their separate ways with the royal family during a bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey earlier this year. During their two-hour chat with the US talk show legend, broadcast on CBS in March, the couple lifted the lid further on how they had been struggling with the pressures of royal life. They also made a number of stark admissions, including Meghan's claim that her mixed-race heritage been targeted by one royal. During her pregnancy with Archie, the Duchess said an anonymous member of Harry's family had asked, how dark, the unborn baby's skin would be. Related articles royals may be cut to Camilla, Prince William and Kate, Expert warns Prince Charles's royal, PR strategy, for marginal royals, liabilities. Royal family rift. Queen constantly frustrated with Prince Charles. <laughs>